Wahuni se geha. A long time ago, there was no land. In the beginning, there was only darkness. There was only water. Then she fell from the sky world, the sky woman who fell here and created our Mother Earth. First came woman, and from her came man. Wahuni se geha. A long time ago, I was a woman in a previous life. And I was born again in this lifetime, but in the body of a boy. Have you ever wanted to be something more than you were allowed to be? What stopped you? The constraints of identity. Rules of gender, regulations of sexuality, the social scripts that bind us, oppress us, limit us. At birth, the gender assigned to me was male. The script given to me to learn, to perform, was masculine. The assumption and expectation, heterosexual. But I was not these things. Homo sapiens are so fixated on controlling each other. And for far too long, energy has been lost on opposition. The gender war between female and male. The moral war on sexuality. The forced conforming of our bodies. I never did perform my gender appropriately as a boy, as a man. So, I was mistreated, targeted, attacked, bullied. An attempt to force me into submission. I failed at being one of the guys. And I never wanted to be anyway. I was more than that. All my life, I felt... Special. I never fit in anywhere. Not with the boys and men. Not with the girls and women. I was always in a middle place. Somewhere else. But above all, I felt feminine. Sensual. Precious. Others did not feel the same. Others tried to shame me. For my womanity my androgyny, my trans identity. Those who believe that gender expression is limited to the appropriate matching genitalia. I was called pretty boy because apparently nothing is more insulting or worse for a boy than to be pretty. I was called girly. Even by born females who somehow believed Femininity can only exist in a female-born body. This has been a femicide, a genocide against my feminine being and my feminine consciousness, and I've had enough. I've had enough. I don't want it anymore. For far too long, we have been denied. No more will we be silent. Remove the word should from your vocabularies. Let no one tell you you should not be. We are not born under submission. We are born free. To live. To thrive. Born to feel alive. We are entering a new eon. A new age of consciousness and spiritual evolution. A remarkable change is taking place. We are in transition. A shift away from the old age of darkness into the new age of light. And there is no death without rebirth. 
No renewal without the breaking down of outdated structures and belief patterns. It is time we brush off and shake off social rules, the constructed customs of control that keep us caged. These things no longer serve us. Give up the attachments. Exceed the limitations. Bypass the boundaries. You don't have to be born this way or that way. You can birth your new self. It is time for revitalization, regeneration, rebirth. Get your dirty words off of me. I don't want it. I don't need it. Take it away. Give up your shame. Shed their blame. You don't need it anymore. The time has come for us to rise up and reclaim our bodies, take back our spirits, and declare for ourselves a new identity. Metamorphosis is possible. Creation is in your hands. This is an uprising. The emergence of a new human species, a new breed, a new race of a supreme being. It has been called Homo Nodicus, a human being balanced male, female, of developing consciousness. The next step in human evolution. Homo Nodicus is us. We, the trans, queer, gender various identities, who cannot be contained in a single classification. We transcend. We rise above. We are the ones who exist between categories, who dodge definition and resist labelization. We, Homo Nodicus, radiate from a spectrum of multidimensional possibilities. We are so much more than sexuality, gender, or even the body. It is not about a sex change, it is about a mind change. Homo Nodicus is, in essence, all about spirit. It is an attitude, a worldview, a philosophy. For at the center of Homo Nodicus is a movement, a revolution, a liberation. Now is the time, now is your chance. You are the artist. Paint your new image. You are the author. Rewrite your new script. You are the architect. Design your new expression. No one is going to show you the way. Give yourself permission. Refuse to be refused. Then you demand your respect. Empowerment is in your hands. What are you waiting for? You are so much more than you have been allowed to be. Are you brave enough to be free? Rise up, Nodicus children, bringers of the new age. We are the future. Resistance is futile. Rise, siblings. You are free. I am free. I'm going onward and upward, and I'm not looking back. Won't you join me? Rise, rise, rise. Haona, it's time.